Yo yo, we are back in After Effects and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to create this 3D gun slash Draco effect. It looks so smooth. We did track to the footage. So this is how I do it. So firstly I have this clip as you can see. So firstly to start off you can see I have this laser dim video clip. Now we're gonna track our camera but my footage is really low resolution because I downloaded from YouTube and it compresses a lot of quality. That's why I assume our track won't be that good. So the fix that we're going to add some effects at first so firstly i like to add like a unsharp marks onto here to siphon it all up and bring up the radius to something like eight or seven and just bring up the amount to like crazy something like that then you can add like a simple lumetri color then go over to the basic correction and lower down the contrast so those tracker has more things to play around with so after that let's just pre comp it make sure it's on move all attribute into a new comp then hit ok then now go over to the tracker and just track the camera of it you can go over to advanced and detail analysis and let it do its thing for now after the tracking is done you can see all of these track points onto your scene you can even bring up like the track size so it's more visible now i'm gonna select some track points in the background and create a solid out of it so we have like a good starting point uh let's just rotate it a bit and you can see that's a pretty good track right there so after that let's just hide it we are not gonna need the track solid now and now we're gonna create our own solid by going over to new and just hitting solid also the shortcuts key for making the solid is ctrl y if you don't already know but anyways however you create the solid we're gonna add the effect element into here to add the 3d object onto our scene oh also another thing i forgot is go into the comp and disable both of this lumetri color and unsharp marks because we already made the camera and we don't need this anymore but anyways back in element you can see after adding this element effect it will say scene setup go into the scene setup to add the 3d object in here then just go to import and import your 3d model in my case this is this draco gun 3d model this is actually available on my discord server in the 3d channel so i'll link it in the description you can join my discord server it's a really helpful community and i'm really trying to grow the server big so people can get help and also it would be a great spot to hang with creatives but anyways after you download the draco model just open it by locating and now if you don't see anything you just gotta go over to edit panel and just hit normalize size and you will see your model right here that's perfect but we're gonna add the texture now so go over to scene and open up the 3d model and you will see a uh, material right here then in edit again in texture let go over to diffuse and just drag in the texture that comes with it so here's the texture right here which comes with the zip so let's just drag it in here like that that's perfect right there you can even play, play with like the contrast and the saturation of it if you like but it's all good then you can also go to bump map and drag the normal png the draco normal png onto here like that then go to reflectivity and just drag in the metalness on here so yeah that's perfect right there our textures are all loaded as well but to match the lighting i'm gonna set our footage as an environment so to do that go back to after effects by hitting ok and then go over to custom layer go over to custom texture map and just select your pre-comp as the texture map which is your footage layer then just go to scene setup again let it open go to environment and in this area right here set it as your footage layer and you can see the reflectivity is our environment as you can see now that's perfect right there now we're gonna exit out of here again by hitting ok you can see our draco is flying around which we don't want so to fix that we're gonna go to group one now go over to group utilities and create group null and in it just hit create and it should create a new null which controls all of the values on the draco so firstly as you might remember we created the track solid so we're gonna select the track solid and hit p in our keyboard to bring up the position and you can just copy the position the end value of the position which is the g1 just copy that and pull up the position of your group null and just paste it in there and now you won't probably see your draco so we're gonna just scale it up uh, something like that i guess i'm gonna lower down the x amount a bit because it is not like rendering properly so something like 3k 30k is 
perfect for me 30 20k and you can just rotate it however you like now if you see the draco is tracked perfectly that's exactly what we want so now we'll start animating it so firstly i like to decide the position which is around here put it around here at the end uh, actually like that and lower down the scale for sure make sure you holding shift when you lower down the scale so it's like really fast if you're going through a lot of values but now let's just rotate it as well something like that yeah that's pretty perfect position right there you can play with however you want to position it it's all just like personal preferences and how your footage looks but now we're gonna animate the position of it so i'm gonna hit p on my keyboard on the group null again and hit the stopwatch in the position and put this keyframe around the end and just select the x axis of the draco and put it at the side so it out of the frame and it slowly comes into the frame like that then you can just easy those keyframe right there and go over to the graph and make sure you are in speed graph then just make a graph like this nothing too complicated just a smooth animation like that you can even like bring up the position more if you like I animate the rotation so i'm gonna hit i in my keyboard to bring up the rotation and i'm gonna hit the stopwatch in x rotation and put this keyframe a bit at the end as well and go over to the first and do it one cycle whole and you can just hit f9 to easy ease those go into graph and make the same graph you can go to value graph for this and make like a similar graph onto here yeah that looks pretty cool right there i really like the way that looks maybe i'm gonna rotate it something like that actually and put it like that with the orientation you can even like animate the orientation if you like so let's just animate that as well and put it a bit like upside it right here and just keyframe those and just go into graph again go into speed graph and just make the same graph in here something like that that looks perfect right there also i'm gonna animate the scale as well so same thing with the scale as well so zero to the size normal and go into graph and make a same graph right there so something like this so that looks perfect right there now we're gonna select our track solid again i mean the element solid not the track solid my bad but anyways go into the element layer now we're gonna head over to the render settings and go to ambient occlusion and just turn that on and you can just bring up the amb ambient occlusion a bit and then you can play with all these settings on here to get it to your liking or so something like g you can play with all of these like yeah as you can see it looks so realistic with all those shadows so you can play with all of these to get it to your liking i guess that's pretty perfect right there so now we're gonna go to lighting on the same stuff so lighting and go to add lighting and set it to whatever like you prefer and matches your scene i think i'm gonna go with stylized or something like that for now so i think let's just go with stylized and go to rotation and you can just play with the rotation of the lighting i guess that's a pretty cool lighting right there so now to top it all off we're gonna add a glow on here a glow and just bring up the highlights only and bring up the size a little bit more size like that and just bring up the amount as well and go to alpha channel and set it to extended almost you can even like play with the colors if you like then then we're gonna add like a lumetri color to match the colors more so let's just go over to basic correction and you can just play with the shadows and highlights to get the look you want uh, you can even play with the temperature if you like then you can just turn on the motion blur of it as well then just add an adjustment layer before your dark solid and add like a gradient map on it as well this is pretty optional step if you don't like to do it don't do it anyways just toggle switches and modes and set the blending mode to multiply and you would get this like really cool gradient of dark to transparent so we're gonna put it at the side where the draco comes in just to give it some contrast so something like that then you can just play with the opacity so zero to hundred now to top it all off you can pre-comp all of these layers and i like to add a little zoom on it so i'm gonna set the anchor point onto the draco and just made a simple zoom in here so a little zoom animation so it zooms on the draco or uh, something like that and you can just f9 to ease those 
then in value graph make a simple graph like this so it like slightly zooms in on your draco as it goes i guess it really gives that depth to our 3d object works fine you can just turn on the motion blur now to top it all off and finish it off i'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and add a simple shake for my shake pack so i'm gonna open up my shake pack right here sd and the best one then you can just line up all the keyframes of it so it is on the beginning so so as you can see after adding the sick it really has the impact and all those flickers that we want so if you want to download this sick pack i'll link it in the description it's one of the favorite pack that i made and i use it in my every single project it also got used on like a many different big artist music videos something like 42 dog and many more so i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out but anyways my final effect also looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys hope you like this video if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and if you learn something new please hit the subscribe button because we drop sauce like this every single week every single day sometimes so you can stay locked in by just subscribing it's free as well so so that would mean a lot to me so yeah see you in the next video peace